I think I'm here's my last topic. And I didn't know if I was going to talk about it because I put it on here and I was supposed to talk about it in an earlier block. And I kind of played with it once. I didn't really like the way I went about it. But the end of the Joe Budden podcast, as we know, I was able to catch the Joe Budden podcast apparently before it got taken down and put on Patreon, um, where Joe Budden essentially fired Rory and Mari and, and Maul over a podcast. And if you are a fan of the podcast, you You've heard the tension over the last couple of years. Um, it goes and it comes. And the thing is, bro, it's, it was a great podcast while it lasted. I mean, the vibe, the chemistry they had was absolutely amazing. And as somebody who has a podcast and have done podcasts with friends, uh, the vibe that they have was something that I was always trying to build with my podcast, man, because what me and the pod crew do is 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 when we started, that's what I was looking for. Friends with different personalities, different points of view, and we all come together and we talk about the things that we care about and we create a vibe for you, the consumer, right? And to see this end is partially saddening, but it's also an eye-opening experience because guess what? When you mix friends and business, you got to make sure the communication is great. And I think my friends who I bring on my podcast, they know exactly what they offer. They, they, they do the work prior to the episodes, but they also understand that, hey, this is my podcast. It's not theirs. They know they're part of the, create, the, cre- the creative process of what I do. Yes. Do I tell them what they mean to me? Absolutely. But it's money off of this right now? No. Am I spending all of the money on this thing? Yeah. And I'm okay with that. But I also know that if it ever came to a point that they become paid contributors to this podcast, the roles that they have will be clearly defined. It's not just going to be defined by a contract. It's going to be defined by our relationship. We're going to talk about it. You know, it's going to be like, Hey, it's a reason why this is called big baby's podcast because it belongs to the B baby. Yeah. Cause it belongs to me. So guess what? I'm going to make the decisions that I think is best for the big, for big baby's podcast. I'm going to expect you to understand and respect that even if you disagree with it. Will I give you the option to tell me how you feel? Maybe, maybe not. But if you're compensated, will I maintain whatever level of compensation that I promised you? Absolutely. But I think that it's important to not let people who are a part of something feel like they own it, right? It's, just think about this, right? Because what it all boiled down to was Maul and Rory wanted to see the account of the bookkeeping. They wanted to act like they were owners, but they weren't owners. And Joe felt like they weren't even putting in the work as, as co-hosts to even do that shit. But even if they did put in the work to make a great show, it's like, hey, bro, like, you're not, bro, it's mine. Like, you're not. What you gonna do, walk into, oh, because we friends, you think you could just, Check me on this shit, right? But you wouldn't do that at your job. You wouldn't. What Rory was suspended for a week and then takes five more weeks off. Maul takes all six weeks off with Rory and then think that's okay. And then they don't show up for the podcast that came out today. Like, oh, no, no. no. We ain't showing up because we're my hat. Like, hold on. Would you do that at a regular job? Because if you did, you get fired, which happened to them. And it's unfortunate to see what's happened, but that's what happens when greed gets involved. That's what happens when there's a lack of communication. And I'm not choosing a side here. I'm just pointing out what I see. And as a fan, I'm hurt. I'm hurt to see the podcast ending, but am I shocked? Absolutely not, because I listen to every podcast that that they've done together for like the last four or five years. So guess what? You could hear voices changing. You could feel energy changing. You could see how certain people wouldn't talk about certain things. The podcast lost its 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 
this oomph, the shit that we listened to it for, it wasn't there anymore. And that happens when people get money. That's what happens when people create relationships. That's why, bro, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this podcast when it really takes off, when, I, when it really becomes my, like, full-time job. Like, I want to create relationships in multiple industries so I can get access to information, so I can have different guests come on. At the same time, I don't, bro, I don't want to be in love with these people. I don't want these people to feel like they're going to be protected from my opinions because they know me. Because, no, I'm going to talk about you. If you do some wild shit, I'm going to comment on it. If you do some stuff that I think is it's foul, I'm going to talk about it. If you hit the headlines, I'm going to talk about it. Especially if it's a spicy, juicy story and people want to hear my opinion on it, I'm going to talk about it. Hell, that's why I'm talking about this now because I've had a couple of people ask me, well, how do you feel about this? My thoughts are Rory and Maul stepped out of line, bro. Like, y'all are co-hosts. This ain't y'all's podcast. Joe, because Joe probably done a better job of conveying that message early on based on what I've seen. Yeah, probably. But at the end of the day, you can't be a worker. Take a worker's mentality and then want to be a boss when the money comes in. Nah, baby, you got to be a boss with or without the money. And that's a credit to the people that I work with on this podcast, bro. Like, they demand a certain level of respect from me. They just, they, they, they demand a certain level of time from me. They just, the, demand a certain level of 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 they have a certain expectation for what I'm going to put into the show and they and I have a certain expectation from them and it's always been it's always been reciprocated from my regular guests and that's Wayne Chu Candice Joel Eric Boyd yeah those are and, and those are the staples and those are the people who I talk to about growing this thing and making this a something, you know, making this some something. And, and I look at them as more, I look at them as more than just reoccurring guests because I want them to have a full-time role here on what we're building. You know? But that communication is so important that you're always communicating your thoughts, your ideas, your values. And then you're also carrying your weight and being who you are to the, 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 the podcast. You have to be what you're expected to be. And if you want more, you better make sure you're carrying that much weight. And if I ever lose sight of what my people bring to this podcast, Hey, all y'all slap fire to me. Y'all let me know. Because I know I got a solid team, and I love my team. And there are other people who I've wanted to make a part of my team, but guess what? Their commitment wasn't there. They weren't ready to treat this the way that I treat it. Because do I eat off this right now? Absolutely not. But if, 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 if I had my way, is this how I want to make my living? Talking into this, this microphone right here. Every single day. Yes, that's what I do. That's what I want to do. So I take it seriously. I'm not asking everybody who comes along on this journey to take it as seriously as I do, but God damn it, what I expect from you, what I ask from you, you better bring it. And if you don't, what, what are you doing here? You're not prepping. You're not bringing topics. You're not doing research. Like, what, like, what am I doing? What, what are you doing here? You're upset about some contractual stuff, but you don't want to have an open conversation about it? Well, what, what are you doing here? Guess what? You can be replaced. Everybody's replaceable. Almost everybody. Like I talked about earlier, the thing about being great, the thing about being ex exceptional, is there are not many people who are exceptional. Most people are cogs in a machine, and once you break down, we will replace you. And the biggest thing I got from the ending of the Joe Budden podcast, as we know it, is that people on that podcast did not realize that they were replaceable. Will it have the same vibe? No. It won't. It won't be the same. But will it be worse? I listened to the episodes with the other with the other hosts. 
No, still a good show. It's just, oh man, I gotta get, I gotta get to know these new characters who I don't know yet. That's all. But that comes with time. It comes with listening. And, and, and so I hope everything gets worked out because they are friends. And I know getting fired on air would probably sit some type of way with me with my friend. And I would love to see them back on the podcast. And more importantly, I ain't gonna pay for the podcast every month. Damn, Joe, I got enough expenses. But if that's what it is, you know, that's what it has to be because of the legal stuff. So, man, here, here's what I'm going to say. Communication is key. And my communication skills are subpar. I, I admit they're subpar. I, I, I live off of implicit communication to believe that everybody understands what I'm thinking when I'm thinking it, and, and they don't. So I'm going to work on my communication. And I challenge you to work on your communication. Communicate with the people that you love, the people that you care about, your friends, uh, your coworkers, your boss, the people who may work for you, all of that. Make sure you're communicating because if you're constantly communicating, everything figures itself out. Like if people know what, you, what you're thinking because you tell them what you're thinking, they can't get mad at you when you think it. And, and, and there's less assumptions when there's communication. And you know what happens when, I, when you assume things, you make an ass out of you and me. So... In order to not make an ass out of ourselves, let's just make sure, let's just make sure that we communicate. Instead of clowning Rory and Maul or or, or Joe for for this happening, let's take this as a learning lesson to make sure that we communicate with the people that we love. We communicate with our friends so that things don't build up over time and, and we actually can nip the issues in the bud because we've talked about it. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I've been trying to tell y'all this whole podcast. We got Juneteenth shirts on sale at BigBabyTheGoat.com. Yeah, BigBabyTheGoat.com. Shopify, but equal rights. You know, the shirt is there. Put in your orders. $20 for pop. We're going to have them booming and bunking. So, I'm back. I, um, I'm back. I'm going to do an NFL hour and let's talk hoops this week by myself because, yeah, I'm selfish and I want to talk about some stuff by myself. But come next week, we'll have guests back on, on Big Baby's podcast. We'll have, a, we'll have some guests on NFL hour and we're definitely going to have some guests on uh, Let's Talk Hoops because we got content going crazy, you know, post-draft, getting into the real NFL offseason, gearing up for the NBA playoffs. We'll probably be Let's Talk Hoops every week. Uh, hopefully, it's me boinking. EB every single week, but if not, it'd be me with one of them getting into the playoffs because, man, look here. It's going to be a lot going on, a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff that y'all need to hear. Um, I hope y'all miss me. I hope y'all happy that I'm back. Like, share, subscribe, rate, review, comment, do all that stuff, man. Run up run up my mentions, run up my, run up my algorithms. You know what I mean? Big Baby the Goat 23 on Gmail. Excuse me, on, on YouTube. Big Baby the Goat 23 on, on YouTube. And all content is available on BigBabyTheGoat.com. You can find all my podcasts, all my YouTube videos, all my Instagram posts. All of that stuff is on my website at BigBabyTheGoat.com. And all of my merchandise, BigBabyTheGoat.com. We got some, a lot of new stuff coming for you. Got a business meet coming soon with the young with the young king chew so we're going to have some like I said we're going to have some stuff coming for y'all make sure y'all go check out the don't, uh the don't let it smoke you interview that's on my YouTube page uh if you can't find it on YouTube just go to bigbabythegoat.com and it's up man i, I love y'all right <laughs> subscribe rate review all of that um uh, big baby's podcast bigbabythegoat.com big baby yeah